welcome to the Salome Trust Initiative. My name is Sampa Salome Masa Chilambu. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the seven steps you can use to generate yourself a more positive mindset. Number one, start your day with a positive affirmation. This sets the tone for the rest of your day. Have you ever woken up in a bad mood and it's affected your day? I know I have. So I make deliberate um, steps towards ensuring that I'm starting my day off positive. And by doing this, I start my day off with a prayer. And then I listen to Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This helps set my mind ready to conquer the world, meet my goals, and just be happier. It's a, it's a lot of work to get your mind from thinking negative to always being able to think positive. You can actually set a default for the positivity in your life to be achieved by just thinking more positive every day. Number two, you need to focus on good things. What are you grateful for? Are you grateful that you're woken up in the morning? Are you grateful for your family? Are you grateful that you have a roof over your head? There's a lot of people that want the life that you have. So you need to learn to be more grateful for what you have. And this will set the tone towards you knowing actually that you have everything that you need to achieve your goals if you just set your mind right. Find a silver lining even in bad situations. Did your car break down? Uh, were you late for a meeting? You need to find a silver lining in this. You need to be able to say, okay, look, I was late for this meeting, but I have a lot to provide to this person. So are you able to give me a second meeting? I promise you it will be worth your while. As opposed to reaching there, you're already late, and then now it's going to affect the rest of your day. You won't be able to achieve the rest of your goals that you've set out, the tasks that you've set out for the rest of your day. Just because you were late for one appointment, you will use that one late appointment, which is going to trickle down and mess up the rest of your day. Don't do that. Turn failures into lessons. Well, did you go for a meeting and you were told no? You need to do a retrospect. You need to check yourself and say, okay, why did they say no? Maybe it was the way you were dressed. Maybe the way you addressed them. What can you change? What can you learn from that situation? Number five, transform negative talk into positive talk. There's lots of um, positive mindset books out there. For instance, there's The Secret, which tells you um, to have gratitude, which tells you about positive affirmations and tells you that what you put out to the universe is what you get back. Number six, focus on the present. What do you have now that you've achieved? What is it that you're doing? What is it that, what are the steps? Have you broken down your goal into smaller milestones? What have you achieved today towards the rest of your goal? For instance, I, for example, have um, opened a microfinance institution and I was able to get all the requirements needed for me to register one. And I'm looking forward to achieving my fully licensed microfinancial institution by the Bank of Zambia so I can provide you better service in a more secure way which is regulated. Number seven, find yourself positive friends, mentors. I for one have surrounded myself with people that push me to do better, that push me to achieve my goals. They call me up and say they are my accountability partners. They call me up and say look your episodes are finished we need to film more content for your viewers. They call me up and say, okay, we, we, we need to buy more makeup for you to be able to present yourself well to your viewers. These are things that you need to surround yourself with for you to achieve your goals. You need to surround yourself with people that push you. So I, for one, have surrounded myself with a team of people that help me to achieve my goal. So I hope this episode has evoked something within you has created that um, catalyst that you need to change your mindset and be able to achieve your goals in a positive way. I know for one, I have uh, benefited a lot in changing my mindset. It's enabled me to do my office. It's enabled me to just achieve my goals whilst having a smile on my face. Dark days will be there, but what are you going to do to overcome these dark days? Have more positive days, 
change, allow yourself only a minute to be upset about the situation that hasn't gone your way. But after that, I'm a girl. Just be happy. Just be happy. Don't forget, mask up and stay blessed.